In Korean cuisine, you have so many different ways to cook meat, and one great example is nobiani, or marinated grilled beef slices. I'll be using sirloin, which is used mostly in steaks. You have to slice the beef into flat slices. To make it easier to slice, press it lightly first. Not too thick, not too thin. Cut the slices about half centimeter wide. Now, make small slits in the meat. This is a step you'll see a lot in Korean cuisine, designed to help the sauce soak better into the meat. It also keeps the meat from curling up when it's grilled. So this is an Asian pear, which makes the meat juicier and softer. We use it a lot in Korean food. Put the diced pear into a bowl and add soy sauce, sugar, chopped green onions, and garlic. Add some flair to the sauce with roasted sesame seeds, sesame oil, pepper, and cheongju, or rice wine. Mix the beef together with the sauce. Give it 20 minutes to marinate. Guys, have you ever heard of pine nuts? No, me neither. Not bad. You usually see pine nuts in tea, but you can also use it in cooking by chopping them into powder like this. Put the seasoned meat on the grill. The marinated beef can burn easily, so be sure to flip it regularly for an even finish. If you want to step it up, grill it lightly first, apply the sauce again, and grill a second time for a richer flavor. Okay, so now serve your grilled beef with crushed pine nuts on top, just like this. It tastes a little bit like bulgogi, but it's still a little bit different because the crushed nuts adds an extra savory, so you should try this home. Mm. 